The state unemployment phone lines and the website have been really overwhelmed lately. In a typical week, the Labor Department's phone system may get 50,000 calls. For the week beginning, just last Monday, the number of calls jumped to more than 8 million phone calls. Two on your side's Michael Wooten shows us what's changing here to handle this unprecedented rush. So many of you have sent us questions about the state's unemployment system. Oftentimes it's so overwhelmed that you just get kicked off, you can't complete the process, and many are worried that's going to delay benefits. Well, today the governor was asked if he's satisfied with how unemployment is working, and he said, of course not. It is not working as smoothly as I would like to see it. It's compounding people's stress. You're, uh, you're unemployed. You're trying to get on some darn website. You can't get through the website. We have companies working on it. We have uh, literally hundreds of people working on it. I apologize for uh, the pain. It is, must be infuriating to deal with. I am telling you, we have every technology company, company working on it. We're spending a lot of money. The site is so deluged that it keeps crashing because you literally have hundreds of thousands of people at any time trying to get on the site. Here's what will be specifically changing. 700 workers are now dedicated to the Department of Labor's unemployment insurance hotline and hundreds of additional staff are being added from within the Labor Department and even moving people from other state agencies. Those workers are being onboarded and trained right now. The state has also added more than 20 additional servers to the website to increase capacity online. And this is a big one. The call center has added hours on Saturday. Here's a full list of now when you can call. And remember, to make this easier, the state is asking people to file claims on certain days based on the first letter of your last name. The hope is that all of these changes will address the backlog in the coming days. Michael Wooten, Channel 2 News.